of Shotokan, the late Ichin Funakoshi's orthodox instruction. General Supervision, Masatoshi Nakayama, Chief Instructor of the Japan Karate Association. Teki Nidan. Instructor Nakayama will explain the essential points. When you are held tightly from behind, bend the knees and jut out the elbows to break free. In case you cannot, hold up your forearms, hunching your shoulders. If you are attacked from the side, place the right arm across the middle of the body and break the attack. If, when facing the opponent, you are to be kicked in the legs or in the stomach, move to your side to defend yourself. If you don't draw the left leg up and the blocking hand down to meet it at the same time, you can't expect any effect. The important point of this action is that you must draw both arms to the waist and hold the knee simultaneously. If you do not, your action won't be effective. In this case, you defend by grasping the opponent. There are various defensive movements in karate, such as 
Hake uke. Haishi uke. Tsukami uke. And tate shiho uke. You have to choose the suitable defensive movement according to the situation. Let's observe the basic actions once again. Instructor Nakayama will explain each movement. When you cross the legs, stepping to your side, two things are important. One is that you must not point your toes obliquely. The other is that you must change the center of gravity at the right moment. When you draw the left leg in the fifth movement, you must slowly move the head, arms, and legs simultaneously. Please use kake uke, haishi uke, and this tsukami uke in the right situation and do not confuse them with each other. However high you hold the knee when you step out, 
don't change the height of the waist. Six, hat, When you move to your side, two ways are permissible. One is that you move sliding your feet on the floor as in the fourth and eighth movements. The other is that you move stepping out as in the second, sixth, fifteenth, and twenty-sixth movements. Let's have a look from the beginning. Please pay attention to the flow of the movements.
Instructor Nakayama will explain the action. The first change of this defensive movement is the same as that of Heian Sandan. In the third movement, strike away the leg of the opponent strongly and hit it not only with the forearm, but with the force of the elbow. When you block the kick, grasp your right elbow with the left hand and redirect the leg to the side. Then strike the leg of the opponent by turning your right arm in a big circle from the shoulder in the opposite direction. Let's have a look at the movements again. Please pay attention to the important points. Let's observe each action respectively. Please perform the tricks quickly and continuously from the first movement to the seventh, especially from the third to the seventh. In the eighth movement, twist the wrist of the right arm by using the repulsion of muscle and bones of the arm and elbow and not by force. Twist the arm, don't draw it. Until the 19th movement, keep the body in the same position and change only the direction of the head.
In the fourth and twenty-seventh movements, move with your feet sliding on the floor and a hand grasping the elbow. Push out to your side strongly and block the opponent's leg with your wrists. Then strike off the leg, turning your arm in a large circle around the shoulder. As I've repeated many times, it's essential to keep your waist stable, however intensely you move your body. Let's look at the entire action.
possible with maximum effect. This is what we call kime in Japanese. We do not regard those actions which are lacking in kime as karate, though they resemble karate greatly. If we pursue only the superficial beauty and are satisfied with getting good marks in the contest, we can never perform karate matches well. Please brush up various basic tricks which you learned in Heian Kata, and also effective tricks which you have learned in Heki Kata. Please apply them to movements in higher levels. Kata is called Basai, or conquering a fortress, because it requires the spirit and strength necessary to break into an enemy stronghold. It must be performed full of vitality, but if it does not also have imposing dignity, its special characteristics will be lost.
Changing the angle, let's observe the kata from the side. Now, let's watch it from behind. Next, let's listen to Nakayama-sensei's explanation of the main points of this kata. Basai requires strong vitality and vigorous techniques performed with imposing dignity. One of the karate blocks is called morote uke, or block with both hands, putting out your power into both hands. Two blocks are used according to the attack used by the opponent. One is a block putting your fist to the opposite elbow, and the other is a block putting your palm against your opposite wrist. The opponent's attack determines which block should be used. For example, a block with your fist on the side of your elbow is very effective against a stronger opponent's attack. While blocking the opponent with your palm put against your opposite wrist, you can move quickly. You can see a number of quick block changes in this kata. After blocking, if your posture is disadvantageous, you must quickly change the block to your advantage. A very rare self-defense technique called Yamazuki is included in this kata. This is a counter-attack useful when you are being grabbed by the hair or head. Instead of trying to pull away, step in boldly and counter-attack. This is Yamazuki. 
山好きですこの山好きは女性の護身術に非常に効果的な威力を発揮いたしますはい、この動きも非常に特徴のある動きですこれは同じ位置で方向を転換しながら技をかけるという場合にこういうことがよく行われますつまり The movement you just watched is often used for executing a new attack towards a different direction from the same spot Bring your leg just below your body, use the leg as a pivot, and attack the opponent. Let's watch it once again. Let's watch it again from behind.
Let's observe it movement by movement with Nakayama Sensei's explanation. Jump one and a half steps forward. Jump as quickly as possible. This Chudan Uchiyuke, or middle level block from inside outward, is done by making a scooping block with the thumb side wrist of your right fist from the inside of your opponent's right side lower level while bringing your right leg near your left leg. Left vertical sword hand should slowly describe an arc to the front from the side. In movement 11, while rotating your hip to the left, rotate the right forearm towards the inside in a big circle with the elbow as the pivot and block from the inside outward, extending the forearm vertically. Keeping both feet in place, rotate your hips to the left using your right leg as a pivot. Describing a semicircle, extend your right hand to the front from under the left elbow. Hold your knee high under both of your arms. Raise your knee as high as possible and pull strongly with both hands to the right side of your chest simultaneously with your kick. Open your fists a little above your head to the left and right strongly as if you were tearing something apart. Describe a small arc to the left and right with both fists and make a scissors strike. In movement 26, after holding your right knee high in your arms, jump forward. From above your head, strike downward with your fist in a large arc. Cross both hands with your right hand on top in front of your chest, then pull both of them in. Turn the left hand to the left as you move your face. Turning back, raise your right knee high up under your arm. Perform a crescent kick with your right foot and strike the sole against your left hand. Yeah. 
twist your upper body, bringing your left and right fists into line. In punching to the lower level, bend your elbow deeply and press it with your waist. It is also necessary to put the punching side shoulder forward a little and to lean your upper body backward. In movement 38, while turning back, open both legs widely and line them up. Using the right leg as a pivot, rotate your hips strongly to the left, keeping your left shoulder well to the rear and right shoulder forward. Swing your fist in an arc from the left shoulder forwards, then twist the forearm with the elbow as a pivot and perform a scooping block at the lower level just in the front. Keeping the upper body as it is, bring your left foot to under the center of your body. Next, with the left leg as a pivot, slowly but strongly turn your right hand without moving your blocking form. Next, move into a sword hand block with your head only diagonally to the left. Let's watch it once again from the very beginning.
一つ人格完成に努めること一つ,つ,つ誠の道を守ること一つ努力の精神を養うこと一つ礼儀を重んずること一つ血気の湯を戒むること。一つ血気の湯を戒むこと。一つ